week we're going to be drawing Chinese Ming Dynasty pottery. So second graders, we're going to be making vases. And first graders, we're going to be designing a plate. So I'm going to start with how to do the second graders project, which is the vase. And then I will show you the first grader project with the plate. So if you want to skip over to your section, that is okay. So for the second grader vase, in this week's assignment, I have some different Chinese vase form handouts. So if you would like to print it out and use it to do the drawing, you're welcome to. If you don't have a printer, you can also just have it open on the screen and try and draw it by looking at it. So if you have a printer, I would recommend printing it out and cutting it right in half. These Chinese vase forms are symmetrical. Symmetrical means that both sides are the same. So you're going to cut it in half, put it on the paper, and then you're going to look at this side of the handout and do the same on the other side. So if it's straight here, straight here, try and measure about the same width. You can use a ruler if you want to be exact or you can try and guess. If this curves in on this side, you'll curve in on this side. If this curves up, towards that side, this will curve up towards this side. I'm going to measure the widest part here, it's about here, so it's going to curve out, curve back in, comes out a little bit, and then connects. So now we have one side of the face. Now we're going to take this off, this time look at your own drawing and do the same on the other side. So it's the exact same process. You're gonna look and measure or guess how wide it is and copy the same kind of lines on both sides. So this is train your eyes to really look at the shapes. And if this was actually 3D, it would be called a form. 3D shapes are called a form. Okay, so now we have our Chinese face form. And then I also have another handout which has some common Chinese vase patterns and motifs. If you remember from the other slides, motifs are the actual drawings that are on the faces. And those can also make a pattern by repeating, for example, one of these birds or repeating the flowers over and over. That can be a pattern. So in here, today we're just using pencil. And next week we'll add some blue color on top inspired by the Ming Dynasty pottery. But today, just focus on getting the patterns and motif on the vase using just pencil. So on the handout, there's a few borders and there's a row of animals and two rows of flowers. So you can use the designs from here if you want to, making a pattern on our vase, or you can do your own research and look up some Ming Dynasty vases and try and be inspired by the motifs and patterns from actual photographs. So I would like you to really work on the details for this project because we're being inspired by Ming Dynasty pottery and they are known for being super detailed. A lot of the motifs are inspired by nature. Sometimes they do dragons. So I have some borders now, and I think I will start to add some motifs. I think I'm going to do one of the flowers from the handout. And then if you can't fit the whole motif because you're at the edge of the vase, try and guess which part of the motif will repeat on the other side. Down here, I'll do some fish. You can repeat the same motif over and over, or you can make even a different pattern. So maybe I could do fish and then a flower. And then a fish again, and so forth. So 
I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process and I'll show you my finished picture in the end. So here's my finished vase with designs and patterns inspired by Ming Dynasty vases. So again today, don't trace, don't do the background. We're going to do all of that in the next part of the assignment. So please just take a picture of your pencil drawing and send it to me through our Sonia or Canvas. Now for the first grade project, we're going to be designing a plate. So the first step is to draw a circle or an oval. If you're working at your house and if you want to trace something that circle, you're welcome to. But it's really great practice to try and draw your own circle. And again, ovals are okay too, so if it's not a perfect circle, no worries. Once you draw your circle lightly, remember to always draw light till you get it right. Then trace it with pencil. Don't trace it with Sharpie or anything else yet. We're just going to trace it with pencil. And now we're going to be drawing another circle or an oval inside to make it look like a plate because a plate usually has an edge to it. And once you have your plate shape, in this week's assignment I have a sheet of patterns and motifs that Chinese faces a lot of times have. So you can pick some of these and try it, try to draw on your plate, or you can look up your own Ming plates and vases and try and draw what you see on there. Now a lot of these patterns look very complicated, but you don't have to draw exactly the same. You can change it a little bit and make it more simple if you want to. And remember that Ming vases are famous for repeating patterns and motifs. Make sure what you draw, whether it's a pattern or one of the motifs, make sure it repeats over and over to make another pattern. So maybe I will do a flower right in the middle Today we're just using pencils. And then around there, maybe I'll try some repeating lines. So I have one here, another here, and then maybe I'll have some of these leaf branches. Okay, so I have my repeating branches and leaves now. And then maybe I'll do one of the border patterns around here. Now I have my pencil drawing of the design of my Ming pottery inspired plate. Today you don't have to trace it. You don't have to do a background or color it. We'll do that in the following weeks. So please just send me a picture of your pencil drawing through Artsonia or Canvas.